Matt Schlapp is with us. He is the chair of CPAC. Now, President Trump speaks at your conference on Friday, but I notice there are not that many headliner conservatives also speaking at the conference. Is it possible that Chuck Schumer is uh, urging them to stay away and that President Trump is scaring them away? <laughs> Not at all, Stuart. My God, it's a who's who of conservative leaders. Uh, we're going to have Reince uh, Priebus and Steve Bannon on Thursday. We're going to have Ted Cruz and uh, the, uh, the great one himself, Mark Levin, talking to Ted Cruz. Uh, we're going to have Jim DeMint and every conservative leader from Leonard Leo. Uh, we're going to have Sheriff Clark. Uh, you know, so it's a who's who of conservatives. We have Vice President Mike Pence. So, no, that charge is wrong. And the other thing that's interesting, Stuart, I don't think very many conservatives are listening to Chuck Schumer about much of anything. Now, that's a fair point, Matt. And that, that, was a long, that was indeed a long list of conservative leaders who will be at the conference. However, the conservative speaker, Milo Yiannopoulos, he's resigned from Breitbart, he's yes. lost his book deal, he's been booted from speaking at your conference because of comments that kind of made light that's of right. pedophilia during a podcast a year ago. You got any re regrets about taking him out of the speaker list? It was supposed to be about free speech, after all. Yeah, no, I don't have any regrets. You know, I tend to be an includer, and we like uh, different voices to be at CPAC. Uh, we've been doing that uh, for the last three years, and that's what, that was the spirit in which we invited him, the fact that he gets closed down on campus. But no, I think we did the right thing in rescinding the invitation. Obviously, he's dealing with this himself. And I think with the, the attendees I'm already talking to down here, they're really excited that it's the first time we're going to have a Republican president of the United States at CPAC in their first year since 1981, since Ronald Reagan was here. For most of the people who are here, that's before they were born, Stuart. So this is history. And <laughs> Donald Trump is coming to conservatives and, and paying respects to them because he knows they're the heart and soul of the Republican Party. At your conference, are we going to hear about the Wall Street Trump rally? Because that, I think that's one of the most underreported stories in America today. What do you say? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's already a rejuvenation in the economy. People already feel better. And you would be able to explain to me that it's even just beyond how people feel. The fundamentals are good because I think companies realize we're already pulling back on regulations. We're going to have a job-friendly economy and we're going to cut taxes and we're going to be more globally competitive. Those are music to the words of CEOs. Uh, by the way, on that note... Music should... to the ears of CEOs. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I just want to add this. This is a data point for you, Matt. You might be interested. The net worth of American consumers has gone up 7% since the election. You might want to stress that. I think we're making stock portfolios great again. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good slogan. If you're not careful, I'll steal that one right off you. I will. Matt Slap, good luck to you. Thanks very much for joining you got us, it, sir. Man. Appreciate it.